Discover, Sinesta, St. Martin, Nancy, I'm going to hand over to you. Thank you so much, Sarah. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, depending on where you are on the globe. It's still morning for me, a wonderful morning. Welcome to Senesta Resort St. Martin on behalf of the whole team. My name is Nancy and I'm the key account sales manager for the US and the Caribbean and happy to take you on a little ride on island today. Uh, I know St. Martin is not a typical destination that everybody's familiar with yet or has maybe visited uh, on a cruise or something. So hopefully today can uh, bring some change, bring us some extra knowledge on the destination and definitely set us up for uh, personal contact. If you have questions, if you have certain doubts, you can always reach out to me and um, I'll be happy to help you out. So let's start with a little video just to get you in the mood here. And uh, then we'll start talking and giving you some more information. to the uh, slideshow. I think whoever is uh, covered in snow and cold weather these days is ready to explore a little bit more about the Caribbean, right? Uh, especially after seeing this. So let's start a little bit with our location. As I mentioned before, St. Martin is still a very uncovered destination. I know we're all familiar with Mexico, with Dominican Republic, with Jamaica, but we also get a lot of uh, demand now for the smaller islands. So that is definitely when uh, we, we want you to keep us uh, top of mind and just have all the knowledge necessary to be able to represent St. Martin, Sonesta Res Resort St. Martin and sell it and present it to your clients with confidence. So taking a look at the uh, Leamward uh, Islands here, you will find here St. Martin uh, surrounded by Anguilla, by St. Bart's, by Antigua, Seba, St. Eustatius. That is the little corner where we are located here on the map. And just to also uncover the little secret of how St. Martin is being written, you can see it sometimes with double A, you can see it with one A, and I always get the question like, okay, what's the difference? How does that work? Now, St. Martin is a very unique island. We're half Dutch and half French. So that's where the different writing comes in. So the double A is the Dutch version. It's St. Martin. The one A is Saint Martin. That's the French version. So for whoever wasn't aware, I hope I uh, uncovered this little secret right there. A little bit more about the island, just to give you some more uh, detail on uh, what to find on the island, what to do before we really get into the hotel part. A uh, few facts and figures. As I mentioned, we have the French side and the Dutch side, but it's very, very easy to go around on the island. Once you're on island, a passport will not be necessary anymore because there's no further border between the French and the Dutch side. There's only going to be a sign on the side of the road announcing welcome to the French side or welcome to the Dutch side. So English is spoken, US dollar is well accepted. So it's super, super easy to get around. It's very safe and it's known as the, friend, as the friendly island. 
Now we have two capitals, so there's a lot of culture and a lot of history when you visit St. Martin. So the French side has Marigot as the capital and the Dutch side is Philipsburg. Philipsburg is also known as the, the port, you know, so that's where the cruises come in. The Dutch side typically is a very active site. It's where you will find casinos, the shopping, of course, very close to the cruise port. So shopping goes with that, tax-free shopping, so great shopping, definitely. And also the nightlife is what uh, the Dutch side is very popular for. Uh, temperature are great all around the, the year, really, and uh, it's a Caribbean island, so definitely, definitely uh, wonderful weather all the time. The national bird is the pelican, and the national tree is the beautiful, colorful, fly, flamboyant. And a fun fact here is that it's actually the smallest landmass in the world shared by two nations, and that's about 370 years of coexisting. So surrounded by beautiful waters, I call it the 50 shades of blue. It's so much better in person, believe me. Hopefully you have the chance to visit if you haven't done so. As I mentioned, a lot of history and culture to visit, uh, not just the water activities, but also inland. You can uh, visit the forts. We have, of course, beautiful, colorful markets where you can also get your favorite spices and herbs. It's a uh, perfect decor actually for painters, for artists in general. And one of them is Sir Roland uh, Richardson, who has his art gallery. He actually spends half of the year on island and half of the year he's in Florida. I would say the best of both worlds. And also some action while you're on island. Um, one of my favorites is this one. It's a gorgeous spot. You can do tubing, you can do the zip lines. And then the Flying Dutchman is uh, is the most famous, I would say. But my favorite part is just being on top of the, uh, of the island and just having gorgeous views all around. It's 360 degrees around, uh, surrounded by ocean. And the best part is you can see all the beautiful views there, all the different islands as well. And it's just a gorgeous spot before you take the accelerating ride uh, downhill, of course. And of course, what would the Caribbean be without the famous rum? We also have uh, very, very good rum at Toppers um, on Island. Toppers is a very famous brand there. So great to bring back with you from your trip. They really prepare the rums with different flavors. So Toppers rum, definitely a great spot to visit there. And when we make the trip to St. Martin and we have some extra time, then we definitely also want to take advantage of that and uh, visit maybe some of the surrounding islands. You can do either a ferry ride or a short plane, uh, depending on which island you would want to visit. St. Mart St. Bart's is definitely uh, the luxury island. Seba is very well known for uh, diving, actually. Um, you know, Tortola, Anguilla, St. Eustatius, they all have their specific. So island hopping, make sure to make it part of the trips. And also an island I mentioned already, the water sports. This is uh, specifically Pinal Island. Uh, this is a really beautiful uh, day tour that you can take. You just have a short boat ride over to Pinal Island. You can kayak, you can snorkel there, have a delicious lunch on the beach. And it's a perfect uh, way to spend your day there on St. Martin. And coming back to what we're going to talk about now for the rest of the webinar is our Sonesta Resorts St. Martin with our beautiful location on the Dutch side of the island, the fun part, as I call it. And we're right by that famous airport. Uh, you can see the runway here. How amazing is this? Literally surrounded by water. And if that didn't ring a bell yet, then this uh, must certainly do the trick. Uh, Maho Beach, the famous Maho Beach, where the planes fly in really, really low. And you've certainly seen all these pictures and videos of people standing in the water, waving at the overflying planes. That is exactly the view that we have from our resorts, which you can see here in the background. And this is the other side of our resorts. Um, you can see the Maho Beach in the front and in the back we have Mullet Bay with Mullet Beach, also one of the 37 beaches on island, um, one of the better ones actually, so a great, great location. 
And here taking a look at both resorts uh, from the front side, the taller white is our Sanesta Maho Beach Resort Casino and Spa. This is our family friendly resort and we are all inclusive. Again, something you don't typically find on St. Martin. And right next door, we have Sanesta Ocean Point. This is our higher end luxury, all inclusive resort for adults only. So a great combination of two resorts right there on the Dutch side on the ocean. What I would like to point out here, what you can see is that we really uh, built along the ocean side. And what I absolutely love is whenever you're in resort at whatever spot you're sitting, dining, enjoying a drink, a cocktail, you can enjoy the views of the ocean right in front of you. Everything is within walking distance. So you don't have those uh, enormous walks from the lobby to the beach, to the room. No, none of that. Uh, we try to keep it easy and nice. It is in the end uh, your Caribbean vacation. So we may want to make sure you make it worth it. So let's take a look at Sanesta Maho Beach Resort, Casino and Spa. This is our family friendly resort where we literally have something for all ages. We're in the Maho village, which makes it so unique. You walk out of the lobby, you're in the village, you can do your shopping there. We have the casino across the street and actually two of our restaurants are in the village. So you can you can walk out of the hotel and still your, use your all inclusive. I mentioned we have something for ages on this slide. You can see we have to the left our uh, kids club. We will see in a later slide also the kids pool. We have aqua slides. You name it, there's literally something for everybody there. Here we have a couple of the highlights and quick facts. So we have a total of 420 rooms divided over 10 floors there. So different kind of views, which we will get into as well. We have the tour desk, you can rent a car. Another option is when you just walk out of the lobby, you can just hop on a local bus. So our location is so wonderful. You're literally in the middle of everything and it's very, very easy to get around and explore as much as possible of the island while there. A little bit about our accommodations, which is, of course, very important to understand how that all works. We are all inclusive, as I mentioned. So our different room categories will actually be very similar decor wise and also size wise from what you can see here. The difference is going to be in the views depending on what floor they are. So they're all equipped with a king size bed together with a pull out couch for a maximum of four people in the room or with double bedding and also for four people. We do have connecting rooms, which you can actually see on the middle picture there. Unfortunately, we cannot guarantee your connecting rooms. We try, of course, to accommodate as much as possible those families that require it. However, when we are at high occupancy, it may not always work out. So that's why we always offer these um, requests. So of course, the lower laid floors, they will have the island view or the garden view. The higher up you go, you get your pool view and eventually also your ocean view, of course, from the sixth floor all the way up. Here's a little shot of the bathroom. Something I want to point out also is our all-inclusive bracelet, which I absolutely love because at the same time, it's your door key. It's your contactless door key. So no looking for that little plastic cart in your beach bag. When you want to get into your room, you come from the beach or from the pool, you just hold your, your hand in front of the door and magically it opens there. We have that system for both Sanesta Maho as well as Sanesta Ocean Point. So it's a great feature and I want to make sure I point that out for you. Amazing views, of course, from anywhere where you are in the uh, resorts. And we have two categories that are actually uh, offering a larger uh, room type. So we have the one bedroom garden view suites and the one bedroom ocean view suites with two spaces next to each other. So the bedroom area is going to offer a king size bed. The living room area will have the pullout couch. So it's still going to be for four people maximum, but divided over two spaces. So you have some more room for everybody. And uh, the same, we have the Skyloft Suites. These are located on the ninth and the 10th floor. So all the way up with the best views, of course. And here we have uh, two levels. So the upper level is going to be the, the bedroom with the king size bed as well. And then the lower level is going to have your living room area 
with the pull-out couch. And again, it's going to be for a maximum of four people in the room. Those four people that I mentioned can be either combination, can be four adults, can be two adults and two children. So whatever adds up to four people uh, is going to work out there. Here we have a little shot from the other side. So here you can actually see also our kids pool. The slides are up there for the kiddies and also the aqua uh, slides in the main pool, the swim out, um, sorry, the, the, the swim up uh, bar. And in the back right away, you can see how close we have Sonesta Ocean Point, our other resort there. Here again, a little shot of the beaches, Maho Beach, as well as Mullet Beach. Remember, we have 37 beaches, so definitely go out and explore and try out some of the others. The great thing about St. Martin is that there are such a huge variety of beaches. Some will have bars and uh, bar service and restaurants and hotels even, and there will be a lot of other beaches where there's literally nothing at all. So you just pick your favorite. And beaches on St. Martin are public, but we also have some private areas within the resort. For example, this one, the Palm Beach, and this is where we also offer beverages uh, during your stay. Now, St. Martin is a real foodie island. So even though we are all inclusive, we always recommend for your guests to go out and explore, try some of the local lolos. Those are the local structures with barbecue, which is amazing for very little money, literally. And of course, we also keep up the standards within our resort for Sonesta Maho. We have five restaurants all together, but we also have the Maho Cafe. We also have a pizza all day long. Our owner is actually Italian. So pizza, you know, it's a must. <laughs> we cannot miss out on that. So pizza always hits the spot, especially if you come in uh, on island, just in between two, um, two different restaurant times. You can always get something to eat. And we have the typical burgers and hot dogs also by the pool. So you never get hungry there. This uh, is the selection of our dining options. So it's a really, really nice variety all over. And of course, Caribbean. So we have to pair everything up with a good drink and you never have to go out too far to find a little bar and uh, find somebody to get you a nice cocktail to get in the mood there. For the little ones, we have our kids club and for the bigger ones, we have also our teen zone. So again, something for everybody. And there is entertainment during daytime and at nighttime, a lot of live entertainment, which is really nice. You have live music by the pool. You have live music at night in different areas. It can be either between Maho and uh, Ocean Point on the beach or also at the village tavern, which is actually in the in the Maho village. That way we can go a little bit longer without interrupting the sleep of those that want to take an early night in the resort. And if uh, meetings and weddings is part of your niche, we can definitely have, help you out there. It's a big part of our business for sure. And we're totally prepared. We also have our sales team in resort who can help you with the setup of whatever your group is looking for. Meet Me in Paradise is our program for that. I mean, you may get distracted by, by the views, but you also helpfully get some work done. And something I would like to uh, point out in this slide, if you look in the background, you can actually see one of the islands that I mentioned before. This one specifically is Seba. So it's a beautiful, tiny island, uh, very well known for actually it's uh, scuba diving. Meet Me in Paradise, back to work here. So whatever um, size your group may be, large setups, small setups are available. We have 24,000 square feet of meeting spaces. Whether it's for weddings, whether it's for meetings, we can cater to everybody. This is our Dream Weddings in Paradise program. We don't even need to be inside to celebrate your wedding. Whatever is better than outside, of course, with this kind of amazing views here. And of course, a little relax in our spa, which we have available with uh, a whole set of menus with everything that we can offer you in resort. Our Casino Royale, a large casino, actually one of the largest of the Caribbean. 
And we are right across the street from Maho Village, from Maho, but also in the Maho lobby. We offer a little teaser section there with some slot machines and also live entertainment right there at the Casino Royale. And that brings us to Senesta Ocean Point, our little gem right next door of Senesta Maho. We only have a 130 ocean view suites here. This is our high rent luxury property for adults only, and it's also all inclusive. And actually the shot that you see here, these are our beautiful, beautiful sunset suites. These are Butler sunset suites. The key highlights and some uh, quick facts here. So we are all inclusive adults only, and we have 24 hours of room service, which is always very much appreciated when staying at Sanesta Ocean Point. A great thing here is that everybody staying at Ocean Point can also access everything at Maho. So it's literally a two in one. It works great if you have your groups of friends traveling together, families, maybe some on a different budget or traveling with children. They can each stay in their own property and they can all hang out together on the Maho site and enjoy entertainment, meals and drinks and have a great time together there. Now, the atmosphere in general at Sonesta Ocean Point is a very Zen-like style. It's very quiet. And for example, here you can see the Zen garden, which is perfect for some meditation, or if you want to host like a private cocktail, uh, all that is possible here. We even have a little corner for some nice massages there as well. But my favorite for a massage is definitely by the ocean in our little gazebo right here. And if even that is too much, well, just take a little break, you know, and hang out in one of the hammocks there and just enjoy the beautiful views from there. So let's take a little look at what we can offer at Sanesta Ocean Point for the suites. This is actually a really nice shot of our swim out suites. We do have quite a few of these and it's a very, very popular room category. Now taking into consideration, it's an adults only. Most of the room uh, categories are equipped with a king size bed and they are for maximum two adults. We have the junior suite double. That is the picture in the middle here with two double beds and we can take up to three people here. Now, just keep in mind, especially for these uh, popular ladies groups here, if they don't necessarily want to share a bed, the junior suite double is definitely the room category they want to book. We have limited inventory of only nine rooms here. So make sure you secure these as soon as possible always. Here's the decor. And again, as our owner is Italian, most of the decor, the materials are imported from Italy. So it's a very sleek, modern look, very minimalist. And everything was redone very recently. So after the famous hurricane, I still get the question a lot. Is everything back up and running on the island since the hurricane? It, it is definitely done. Everything was rebuilt completely from scratch. Even the airport now fully opened now just before Thanksgiving, actually very recently, they added a whole new section and it makes the whole process to come in and to leave very, very smooth and very, very fast. A very modern equipment they have. So definitely uh, something you can recommend everybody if they have any questions on that. Now, 25 of our highest ranked room categories we offer with Butler service. That is a very popular service. Uh, they can help you out really from unpacking to making reservation at the uh, at the spa and with anything else, really. They are there to assist you during the whole stay and they usually remain friends for life. That is really something that is so admirable. Our butlers are awesome. Everybody stays in touch with them. Everybody wants to come back and ask for the their specific and preferred butler here. And we have our specific suites that come with the butler service. Uh, a lot of these suites are actually on request just because we have very limited inventory on them. For example, the uh, penthouses, these offer so much additional, additional space and they're very popular with our wedding couples because it just gives them the opportunity to host a little cocktail party, some private meetings with their family and friends in the penthouse. 
And for those who uh, like to stay up to date with their gym sessions, they can definitely do that also when staying with us. They have all the space outdoors, but if they like to do it in an air-conditioned room, we have our state-of-the-art fitness room. And even there, we offer our beautiful, beautiful ocean view. So a little sweat while looking at the ocean. Can't get any better than that. Here are three of our pools. We have our swim out pool, the point pool, which is the main pool. And where we also offer some activities such as uh, aerobics, uh, again, everything, you know, in slow motion, in a soft way. So it's more like a Pilates yoga style activity, which you will find. Whenever you're looking for some more action, you will find it on the Maho site. You can just hop over there. It will take you literally a two minute walk. And also the edge pool where we have our man-made beach. This is the pool between Asol Restaurant and also the Sunset Suites. Beautiful area to relax. And talking about our restaurants, I mean, St. Martin is a foodie island. I mentioned it already. So definitely we have to keep up to standard. I think anybody who is uh, familiar with Sonesta Ocean Point uh, mention it at the same time with Asul because it's the most popular restaurant. It's our main restaurant, which you can see here with uh, breakfast and lunch and dinner with a daily changing menu. It's an amazing spot. You can't really see it from here, but it's built on the cliff with almost 360 degrees of ocean view. Beautiful setting. So all three restaurants are exclusive to our Sanesta Ocean Point guests. As soon as I mentioned, we have Bluefin, which is right on top. Beautiful spot to dine under the stars with poke bowl uh, style meals. And of course, there comes the Italian. Again, we have Portofino, our Italian option uh, located on the cliff. Here are a few creations of our chef Francisco. This is our bluefin setting, which I absolutely adore. And Portofino, it's built on the cliff as well. It's right there. Very relaxing and nice setting. Dine with the breeze next to it. And of course, also at Sinesta Ocean Point, we have an amazing setting of uh, bars. One of my favorites is the sunroof. And that is a nice spot just to have a drink before dinner or after dinner, again, accompanied by live music most of the evenings. Nice shot here for night. On the left, we see Azul now from a better angle. So you can see actually what the views are, where it's located. And um, just to mention again, we have the stay at one, play at two, where your guests can enjoy both resorts at the same time. And actually, this is our little entertainment area right on the beach between Maho and Ocean Point, where they can hang out together. Here's a shot of our Sonesta Ocean Point lobby. And of course, these days, everybody's celebrating something, and we want to make sure to help out with that. So we offer different packages, whether it's a balloon, a cake, I mean, whatever setting for whatever anniversary, birthday, or any other celebration maybe even something bigger, we can work something out with our team in resorts and make it extra special for them. We have our app that we would like to share with you. I will definitely follow up after this uh, webinar with uh, the link to, or the QR code actually to our app. You can share that with your clients. They can download it prior to uh, leaving on vacation and they can already get familiar with all of the amenities and just start exploring and enjoying upfront. And we have some breaking news, actually. Uh, I will have some more on this in the future, but for now I can announce already that we have just finished a brand new additional pool for our adults only guests, and it's called the Seasca Seascapes Pool. We are doing some new project around this in the upcoming months. So definitely I will be announcing that when we have all those details available for you. And last but not least, um, we want to thank you for all your support. We know you work so hard. So we have been a uh, part of the program with my booking rewards. It's called My Maho Rewards. Without them, we wouldn't be here today all together uh, doing, you know, this educational trip to St. Martin and to Sonesta Resort St. Martin. So thank you for everybody 
If you're not signed up yet, make sure you register on my My Whole Rewards. You can book your um, minimum five night stays right there for your extra rewards. And that is really our way to thank you and to support your business because we couldn't do this without you, of course. And this brings us to the end of our little training here. I'm hoping this was helpful. I'm sure there are quite some questions. I haven't been able to look at the chat, but I see quite a lot of activity there. So um, thank you everybody for being here today. Again, I will follow up after this webinar with links, with fact sheets. That way you're in touch directly with me. If you have any questions coming up, feel free to reach out to me. It will be my pleasure. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Nancy. We do have a few questions that have come through for you. Um, so Neil has asked, is um, is the hotel and the island LGBTQ friendly? It absolutely is, yes. Super. Thank you very much. Denise. Hello, Denise. Um, she's got clients arriving in May 2024. Um, she'll be celebrating her birthday with 12 of her friends at Sinesta Ocean Point. Um, she was wondering if there's a way to reserve cabanas before her arrival. And do you know what the cost to rent them is? No cabanas to be reserved, but definitely send over your booking, your travel dates and the names of everybody coming with you. And I'll uh, be happy to add some notes to your booking. So, you know, you will be celebrated a little uh, a little bit extra on your birthday, but no cabana specifically to that question, unfortunately. Maybe in the future. Let's see. Okay. And also, um, is there a way that they will decorate the room for her? Yeah, that's what I'll take care of. I mean, not in person, <laughs> unless I'm there, of course, but I'll definitely make all the notes in the booking and I'll follow up on that. So yes, you can expect some nice decoration there. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Shaney's asked, how late is the night entertainment? How what? Sorry? How late? Oh, how late? So, yeah, maybe you heard me talking about the Village Tavern. Village Tavern is one of the two restaurants that are in the Maho Village. So we can go a little bit later there because it's outside and away from the rooms. So we can go up to 2 o'clock, 2 a.m. there. Uh, within the resort, it's going to be until 11. Okay. Everything is outdoors, so we want to make sure we guarantee everybody's sleep and rest. Super. Thank you very much. Susan, she's asked, do the restaurants on either side require reservations? No reservations in the restaurants. We have enough uh, options there for the amount of rooms that we have. It works actually really, really well. We did away with the reservations a long time ago, and it really has been so much better this way. Uh, because you know how it goes, we would block off a specific amount of tables, then people are still out and about, never make it back. And, you know, we, we wouldn't be able to take other people. So we just decided it wasn't the best uh, way to operate. And without reservations has been really awesome. Uh, we open up our restaurants at six o'clock already. So obviously, if you're a larger party that want to sit together, make sure to go in as early as possible to be seated together. Once it hits seven o'clock, 730, it does get busier, but we're open until 10 o'clock. So even if there's a little wait, it's never going to be too long. I mean, anywhere you are going into a restaurant now in, in the States, especially on, on the weekend, if you don't have reservations, it will take you a lot longer to get in than what I've ever seen in our restaurants. So definitely not a problem. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. Um, Aki has asked, what are the forms of entertainment at each resort? So for Maho, it's a lot more active, meaning, you know, there's more like the aerobics and participating games in and around the pool during daytime. Um, whereas it at Ocean Point, it's just a lot more uh, Pilates yoga style. So a lot quieter piano music in the lobby, that kind of. So it's very two, two very different atmospheres for each resort. You can combine it a little bit or you can compare it a little bit with the Dutch side of the island and the French side. So the French side is quieter in general. It's more laid back, whereas the Dutch side in general is just very active. There's always, always something going on. So that's kind of uh, how I compare it always, like between Maho and, and Ocean Point. Ocean Point would be the French side. Maho would be the Dutch side. Super, thank you. Um, do you have any group perks or offers or anything? 
Absolutely. So groups, as you've seen, are a big part of our business. We do uh, group contracts with a minimum of 10 rooms. And then it really depends on the size of the group, what they have going on, how that will work out. Uh, options are, for example, and that's also always going to be depending on availability for the group leader. You know, there can be a higher up uh, room category, um, all depending on availability and, you know, all depending on the type of group, uh, what is what is going to be available there. So it's really going to be a one on one yeah, case. Brilliant. Um, we've got a question here. Um, I did a site inspection this year and it is beautiful. How much of the planes can you hear when you're in the rooms? Uh, when you're in the rooms, not really. And just remember, it's not a major airport. It's a, it's a tiny airport. The major uh, carriers, I would say, come in between one in the afternoon, between one and five. So the main US and European carriers, that's the time they come in. Earlier in the morning, later in the day, you have like the small private planes, which you hardly hear, but in the room, you don't really hear them. I have to say there's literally everybody's just waiting, ready with their camera, with their phone to film it, to take pictures when they come in, because it's not a, not a major airport. It's not like one after the other after the other. No, you're sitting on the beach and you really enjoy so much that view because it's so unique to see them come in. But inside the rooms, you don't really hear it. Okay, super, thank you. Anthony has asked, um, he has tried to book the agent rate travel a few times and has always gotten that the rates were not available. Is there any set times or restrictions that travel agents can't have them or is it literally down to occupancy levels? So we have been pretty busy, I have to say. I'm not sure when he tried it, for which dates. Uh, we started getting really busy again after the slower season in beginning of November. So um, depending on the availability, obviously, and the time of the year, it may have been hard. Now, something very important with the travel agent rates is that they will only be bookable 90 days prior to travel. So that's one of the restrictions. So if you're trying to book your vacation through a travel agent rate for next year, it's not going to show you the, the availability because we have to make sure that we work within that 90 day time frame. And then also there's always going to be a, a limited amount of travel agent rooms available uh, per day. So it's not that there's going to be 10 rooms available. Some days, again, depending on availability, there may be only one or two available. Some days, maybe five. So if you have any doubts or questions there, you can reach out to me. We are actually just now setting up our 2024 travel agent rates. So if you tried in the previous dates to book for 2024, they were not available yet. And again, we have been very busy also January, February, I can tell you already. Inventory is very, very tight, so you most likely will not find any travel agent rates available there. However, we always run very, very good promotions. We are connected with most of our partners. So if you don't find the travel agent rate, look also at the ongoing promotions and you may find very, very good rates actually coming sometimes very close to travel agent rates as well. So whenever you book them, let me know, please. And that way I can set up a site inspection for you, because if you're staying on the Maho site, you will not be able to access Senesta Ocean Point unless you have a site inspection set up with us. So definitely let me know so I can work out day and time with our team and resort. I think it's extremely important because you will get so much more knowledge from walking around with somebody on island or in resort than just go out and explore by yourself. So especially to see the different room categories that are available when you're there, take your time for that. It's so, so worth it. And it will bring you so much extra knowledge. And of course, you will get to meet our team, which is the best part of everything. So, but let me know and we can set that gladly up for you. And again, I will add some extra notes in your reservation as well. Um, if you don't let me know, I will know that you're going. So that would be definitely a shame. Perfect. Thank you very much. Jerry Sue has asked, is the casino smoke free? It is smoke free, yes. Perfect. Um, Jamal's asked, what time does the pool close? Uh, oh, good question. I think it would be around nine o'clock. There's no real closing time. It's just that at the time that they start, um, you know, cleaning everything up and everything, they use products and then it's not really recommended to go any anymore until the next day. But there's no official pool closure. We sometimes see people, you know, 
take a dip at <laughs> at times that it's preferably not to be done. But I would say eight to nine o'clock is the latest. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, Neil's asked, are you planning a 2024 fam? Um, probably yes. We don't have any scheduled times. Um, we are actually even planning smart, which is one of the events on Island. We don't know yet if it's us who is going to host it. Um, so we'll see. So we definitely have a lot of things going on for 2024 that are still in the, in the works. Um, a lot of the fans are organized either by the tourist office, so definitely also stay always in touch with them. I know there's a lot of initiatives going on there, as well as with the different tour operators. Okay, what's smart? Because I don't know the answer to that either. And uh <laughs> <laughs> smart is actually something that we've been trying to bring back on island the last time it was organized was in 2019 it is an event maybe some of you are uh, familiar with uh, date in Dominican Republic so it's a meeting and gathering of professionals uh, it's mainly um it's mainly the tour operators who will come out, who haven't had the opportunity to come, and we have one-on-one -on -one meetings. So it's it's a huge event to bring a lot of attraction back to the island, which, again, we have tried to set up since uh, since 2019, and I think uh, hopefully it's going to happen in 2024 again to bring just a lot of attention and publicity uh, back to the island. And it's most probably going to be hosted by us uh, for 2024, so we're looking forward to that brilliant um how long does a kids club stay open for parents that might want to go out um deborah's asked this question so we're open during daytime starting at eight in the morning and all the way through six but then also if you would need specific services like private babysitting after hours that can be set up that's however not going to be part of the all-inclusive anymore but it can definitely be worked out with the girls uh, of the kids club they're great at what they do they love keeping the kids busy taking them we have a small uh, buffet a lower buffet actually for the kids in our main restaurant uh, so where they can actually serve themselves with a specific uh, kids menu. So it's really, really nice for the kiddos there. Brilliant. Um, Tamara was asked if guests want to go out and party, should they venture out into the nightlife in town? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, it's the Dutch side. It's it. There's a lot going on. Maho Village, you have some options there. Um, a lot of live music going on, but also once you go down to Simpson Bay, Phillipsburg, oh my God, yes. It's a Caribbean island. I mean, what, what do I need to say more, right? <laughs> lots of yeah. rhythm, lots of dance and uh, rum. <laughs> Excellent, loving it. Um, Julie's asked, can you share the presentation? Uh, I'm not sure if that's something that we can send out over via the link. I think you will be sending the link afterwards, right? Uh, yeah, I'll send, the, I'll send out the copy of the recording and um, yeah. you'll do the follow-up. Um, so I think if somebody specifically wants a presentation, Julie, if you reach out directly to Nancy, and let her know what it is you need the presentation for, because she may be able to send it to you by Dropbox or, you know, we transfer or something. Um, that's if she's able to send it. So yeah, just drop exactly. Right I think the easiest will be the link that you sent. Uh, but if not, we can find a way because it's quite heavy. It's a quite large one. I have a little bit more reduced ones, depending like if you want specifically for the island or for the hotel, I can split them up and then send it in a, in a different way to make sure you uh, you get it indeed through one of these channels. <clears throat> Brilliant. Do you do any shuttle buses to um, to like the central places like Phillipsburg or anywhere? We do not, no. But you have the local bus, you can hop on, it will cost you a couple of dollars. And, you know, it, it's very local, it's very safe, and it's very easy. You just walk out of the lobby and the buses come by like every 10, 15 minutes. There's no schedule, right? They just come and go and you can just hop on in either direction. Very, very easy. Brilliant. Um, Christy's asked, she's got a small group of 14 friends and family coming in July. Um, do you have any special amenities available or rooms close together that you can request for them? Yep, definitely send me over the um, the bookings. So I would need the names 
and also the uh, travel dates. So when they arrive on island, that way I can locate them in the system. I can see if they are booked as FIT or if they're under a group contract. And then we can take it from there, put in the additional notes and whatever is needed. Like for example, if they're all coming in on a specific flight altogether, we can do like a group check-in or, you know, whatever, whatever may be necessary and whatever we can do uh, for them. Absolutely. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, Celine's asked, do you have any new policies with cruises coming in? New policies? In... Yeah, such as can they do day passes and things like that? I would imagine that's what Celine means. Okay, okay. So the cruise port is about 25 minutes away from us. Um, we do get uh, guests in pre-cruise or post-cruise stays because we're right there, right? So it's so nice. Uh, day pass wise, it depends on our availability. Um, we do often offer the day passes only at Maho. So Senesta Ocean Point, unfortunately, we do not offer them. It's a small property. It's more exclusive. We want to make sure that we really keep our service limited to those staying there to provide that exclusivity for our Ocean Point guests. Maho, depending on how busy we are, we will be or will will not be able to offer the day passes. So not some Thing I can say up front because it just depends uh, on our occupancy. Super. Um, the spelling of Sint for the Sinesta, is this something new? Um, it's Dutch <laughs> because Dutch. we're on the Dutch side. Okay, perfect. Um, the tennis courts, do you have night the lights on uh, on the nighttime for them? We do not have tennis courts. Okay. Super. Tamara's asked, should we only log bookings that are five plus nights? Should we what? Sorry? Only log the bookings that are for five nights plus. That's correct. Yes. We need a minimum of five nights for the bookings to qualify for the rewards. Okay. Super. I think that is the end of your grilling. Um, <laughs> thank, you for, <laughs> thank you for all of the super amazing questions. Um, so we're going to go to the part of the day where we all go to chat and make sure that everybody was listening. So Nancy's got a question for you because she's got a little prize today. Nancy, just remind us what your prize is. Yes, of course. So we have a reward of $60 for the winner of today. Um, shall I ask uh, the question? Just bear with. Um, so if everybody's remembering, you get a point for every single person that's on the webinar, if you answer this question correctly, you get 10 points. And then what happens is tomorrow, I still put everybody in a spin to win and the magic wheel will decide who the winner is. So Nancy, now you can ask your question. Okay, so I would say, let's see how well you listened there. We have, um, three exclusive restaurants to our Sanesta Ocean Point guests, which is the most popular one where we offer breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and lunch and dinner with a daily changing menu. Okay. So it looks like the majority of people are saying the Azul. Would and that, that is cool. be the correct answer. Perfect. So, Neil, um, I think you've spelt that wrong. Um, okay, Kaylee, Kaylee McLean, you was the first person to get the answer correct. So you have got the ten entries into the spin to win. So well done, everybody. Um, I hope you've learned a lot today. It is recorded. I will send a copy of the recording out to all of you. Um, and you'll be able to view that tomorrow onwards. If you do have any further questions, you've got Nancy. If you're based in the UK, it's Jade, which I think majority of you know. Um, so I'll copy both of them in. And then any further questions you've got, please reach out to them. Let them know they're completely trade friendly. They've got the reward program. They want to work with you and sort of give you as much information as they can on the resorts. So please let them know if you need anything at all. Nancy, your presentation was awesome as always. Much appreciated. Thank you for coming and spending your time with us today. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. It was my absolute pleasure. And I know it's still early, but happy holidays to everybody. And I wish everybody great business for 2024. 
uh, make it a bang. I see it coming so strong. So I definitely hope to be working with all of you in the future. Thank you so much for everyone for being here today. Thanks, Nancy. Thank you, everybody. See you all soon. Thank you, Sarah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.